It's Maddie Monday. I'm Maddie. And I'm Farley. And today we're going to talk about how to do the letter F in ventriloquism. And the letter B. All right, that too. Yeah. To understand how to make the F and V sound, we have to try and make it just without ventriloquism first. So if we say favorite vegetable, where do you feel your teeth going, your mouth going, your lips going? Try it. Favorite vegetable. You'll notice that you've got your lip and your teeth, your lower lip and your upper teeth. This is what's called a labial fricative. Um, v is very much the same. The only difference is that F does not have the vocal component. So if you notice, we can say the letter F. But we can't say the letter V that way. We'd have to hum it a little bit. So that's the difference between the two. But the placement is honestly kind of the same. Oh, V through voice. I get it. And you're blowing air right through them, right? When we are trying to replace that sound, since we're trying not to move our lip, right? We're going to have to remove them from the equation. Hey, there it. It doesn't really work. That is one technique, but what ends up happening is that your mouth gets all puffy fluffy because you're trying to blow the air, so it'll still kind of give it away. You'll still go <laughs> You'll notice that your cheeks kind of puff out, your lips kind of puff out. So the better way to do it is to do a TH sound, like a th, th, th. And the TH is going to give us that sound instead. So the tongue is going to take the place of our lower lip, and we're going to blow the air directly through the two. And instead of putting our tongue underneath our teeth, underneath our teeth, we're going to put it behind the teeth. So imagine these are your front teeth, and this is your tongue. You're going to put your tongue right there behind your teeth, and then blow through. All right. It's going to sound like a TH at first, but as you practice it and you use it in words that naturally start with an F or have an F in them, you're going to start to hear the F sound coming through. Farley, can you say some F sounds for us? That's just a sound. Well, let's pick some words. Some F words? Yes, but not that one. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Right off the bat, I can think of fleece and foam. Fleece and foam, exactly. Food, fish, finger. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, if I'm using a puppet to say the F sound, then your attention is going to be on the puppet. It just makes it a lot more easy to believe that someone is saying the F sound, even though they're actually saying a TH sound. But what about the letter V? You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to do that TH, but you have to add the voice into it, right? So can I say some V words now? Yes, please. Like violin? Yes. Violin's a good one. A van? By the river? Yep. Vegetable? Yeah, we just did vegetable. That one might be a little tricky because it's got the letter B in it, so you might have to watch this other video that I have to help you out. Ugh. I'm looking around their ideas. What do you have? Venetian blinds? I do not have Venetian blinds. Well, you're a ventriloquist. That starts with a V. Yes, it does. It's also a good idea to start studying the way that other ventriloquists position their mouth, especially if theirs is shaped similarly to yours. For example, Dan Horn has slightly bigger lips, so he kind of has just kind of lets them hang down a little bit while he's doing his, his thing. He just kind of droops them down, you'll notice. And that kind of hides a little bit of the movement. Sherry Lewis and Darcy Lynn both do a little bit of a teeth together, smiley kind of ventriloquism. Sherry was a very good ventriloquist. Oh, she absolutely was one of the best. <sighs> so yeah, study up, check out other ventriloquists, practice, practice, practice. Make sure you've got a mirror in front of you. So there you have it. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you or if you just enjoyed watching my ridiculousness. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What are you looking at? There's a fly.